Today we're talking about the Xbox Series S Gilded Hunter Bundle featuring free content from Fortnite, Rocket League and Fall Guys. As you can see I've got a couple of accessories to go along with the Xbox Series S. You certainly don't need them but they can enhance your experience. I'm going to leave a link to everything you see in this video in the description so that you can get more information and maybe purchase them for yourself. You'll notice a couple of seals on the Xbox where we can start to remove the packaging. I'm going to try to do it a little bit cleaner with a knife and remove the seals that way. The second seal is on the bottom of the box, but I'm still going to use the knife to cut it a little bit cleaner. And then now the outer sleeve will slide right off of the box. You'll see there's a couple more seals on the sides of the box, but I'm going to use my knife and cut them away cleanly. And we're going to do the same thing for the other side. We'll see one more at the bottom of the box. Now we're ready to open it up and see what's inside. The first thing that we have, of course, is the Xbox Series S unit. And it's very well packaged and protected. The next thing we've pulled out of the box is this information flyer. It's going to let us know what some of the connectors are on the back of the unit, talk about an app we can download, and show us how to insert the batteries into our controller and get that working. Next, we're going to get into the well-protected area here. The first thing we're going to pull out is our controller, which is also very well protected, of course. And then we can find a booklet with our warranty information. An HDMI cable. And our power cord. We'll open up the controller. And we'll see that beautiful and once we set that aside we find the batteries inside even these are well protected the unit itself is very easy to unpackage but we can see that this has been well protected and there we are and just to double check, of course, we've got the Xbox Series S here. We've got our HDMI cable, a power cable, our warranty information, a controller, and some included batteries. The next thing we're going to do is open our play and charge kit. There's a seal on the top back of the box. I'm just going to peel that away. And then the box is going to slip out of the outer packaging here. You just want to be careful you don't lose the main piece which is our rechargeable battery. Then we're going to get to our included USB cable. And there's another little booklet inside here as well with our warranty information. For the purposes of this video, I'm going to use the batteries that they included because these will be fully ready to go. Whereas with the play and charge kit, we can't be sure how long that was in the store. It may need a charge before it's going to work and I don't want the controller to run out while we're in the middle of setting up the Xbox. So I'm going to remove the back cover from the Xbox controller. And then we'll insert the batteries. You'll have to look on the metal connectors here, and it's going to show you where the minus and where the plus goes. So we make sure we've got our batteries the right way. If you don't put them in the right way, the controller might not work right away. And then we can test it. There we go. Now it's time to look at the headset. This one has another seal on the back of the box here, but I'm going to cut this away with the knife again cleanly. And now we're ready to open this up and see what's inside. Of course, like everything we've seen so far, it's very well packaged. This time we'll take it right out of the styrofoam covering. Here's our brand new headset. 
with the cable that plugs into the controller and a little piece of plastic to cover our microphone and keep that nice. We'll take the styrofoam out as well. And these are ready to go. I'm not gonna use the headset today while setting up the Xbox, but when I'm ready to use it, it just plugs right into the controller here. You'll notice that when we take the plastic mold out of the box, you've got your instructions and warranty information here. The first thing we're gonna to wanna to do to connect our Xbox Series S is find the HDMI port that we want on the television. Yours might have more than one, so you'll wanna make a note of which one you plugged it into. Next, we'll take the other end of our HDMI and connect it to the back of the Xbox. And then we'll take our power cable and plug it into the back as well. Once you've got everything plugged in, you'll turn on your television and you just want to make sure you've got the right input selected. For me, it's HDMI. Until we get our controller paired with the Xbox, I'm going to connect the USB cable to the back of the controller and then we'll turn on the Xbox. It's going to give us the opportunity to set the Xbox up with an app, but I'm going to skip that. I'm going to get my controller on and then I'll be able to get to the next step. I'm going to choose English for my language. United States is close enough. I'm in Canada. You can plug your Xbox into an Ethernet cable if you have one close enough to your router, but for me, I'm going to use Wi-Fi. Once you've got your password entered, move to the next step. Now we're notified that we're connected to the internet and ready to go. You'll choose the right country depending on where you are, but I'm going to select Canada. And the first thing that we want to do is update our Xbox to make sure it's got the latest firmware. So the controller turned off during that time, but now we'll press and hold. It's asking us to press the A button. If you don't already have a Microsoft account, you'll want to create one during the next step uh, if you want to save game progress and things like that. You'll get a privacy statement if you want to read it. Here you'll choose whether you want to allow Microsoft to look at the way you use your console to try to improve the experience. I'm sure this can be changed later. If you'd like to, I'll skip it for now. We can read the information about sharing data with publishers if we'd like to. If you're bringing your account over from an older Xbox, you might want to consider applying those settings here. I'd like to start fresh with this console. Here you have the option to set some security if you're not the only person that's going to be using the Xbox, like purchasing different things. So I'd recommend reading this and then decide for yourself. You have an option here to sign in very quickly if you'd like to. This is the only Xbox Series S that I expect to be playing. So I'm going to make this my home Xbox. The option can be changed later. This is where we get into the bonus content included with the Gilded Hunter bundle with this Xbox Series S. What we're talking about is free content for Fortnite, Rocket League, and Fall Guys. You've got a couple of options here, but I'm going to leave this for a separate video. You can check for the link for that in the description of this video. So for now, I'll decide later. Here we get an option to sign up for Game Pass Ultimate. I'm going to skip this for now. We can set our time zone here. I'm going to set mine to Eastern. I'm going to leave this option enabled to update my games and apps. And it looks like we're just about ready to go. One more prompt for Game Pass before we get to the home screen. 
And now our Xbox Series S is ready to use. One of the things you might want to do on your console is make sure that YouTube is enabled. So we're going to search for that app right now. We see that YouTube is a free app we can add right now. It'll take a moment to install. I'm going to add this as a favorite. Now I'm just going to press the home button. And here's YouTube ready to go. For the best experience you'll want to sign in, of course. That's a look at the Xbox Series S Gilded Hunter Bundle, including free content for Fortnite, Fall Guys, and Rocket League. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, I hope you'll give it a thumbs up and share it with somebody who you think might like to see it. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know what tips and tricks you have for me using my Xbox Series S for the first time. And if you're new here, I hope you'll consider subscribing and turning on the notification bell so you don't miss my next video. We'll see you soon from KevinK.com. Take care. Bye-bye.